Eddie Hearn reacts to Tiafimo Lopez's allegations. Let's talk about it. Push the weight in the flex, flex the loudest one in the six. If it's the runner boy, you nigga, no question. You would run a motherfucker high stepping. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker, never learn your lesson. I'm an 88 pack nigga, boo. I'm an 88 pack nigga, boo. I mean, they walk and drink blood, things out full moon. Motherfucker, change like a hoe, brother. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan Bronx on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. <sighs> you know, more bizarre it gets. I mean, Teofimo Lopez, senior and junior. I mean, senior is the father. He should be setting the standard. And there's something called accountability. That should be something you should teach your children. Now, of course you love your son, but you gotta love him enough to tell him the truth. Don't let him walk around delusional, but you know what? If you're walking around delusional, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Now y'all know I'm not a fan of Eddie Hearn because of how he moved. But in this instance, He's not wrong. How's that for consistency? So I'm gonna go ahead to boxing scene. Link will be in the description. Eddie Hearn reacts to claims being made by Tiafimo Lopez Sr. Promoter Eddie Hearn of Matchroom has fired back at some of the statements from Tiafimo Lopez Sr., the father of head, the father and head trainer of former lightweight world champion Tiafimo Lopez. Lopez is promoted by top rank and last week suffered his first career loss defeat at the hands of George Cambosis in a major upset. While he didn't promote either boxer, Hearn secured the promotional rights through the IBF's purse bid process and placed the fight on DAZN, who have a content deal with Match. In, in, the, in the aftermath of the loss, which saw Cambosis walk away with the WBA, WBC franchise, IBF, WBO titles, Lopez Sr. placed some of the blame on Eddie Hearn and DeZone. There were very, very little doubt about the outcome, with most observers scoring the fight in favor of Cambosis. However, Lopez Sr. felt his son was robbed and could have been set up to take a loss by a rival promoter and network. I feel for him. I know his dad seems to want to blame me for the fact that he lost. It sort of comes with the territory, I guess, but he deserves a lot of credit because he showed a lot of heart as well, Hearn told Boxing Social. About a week ago, it was uh, the first, it, it was the best thing he had ever done coming to the zone. All of a sudden he lost a decision that everybody thought he lost and it was my fault and the zone's fault. You can't reason with someone like that. He called me a couple of times. He messaged me saying he can't believe what I did. I said, listen, we treated you with unbelievable respect. I love Tiafimo. I love his dad, good people, but you have to move away from delusion. That is the article. And here's my opinion. I agree with Eddie Hearn as far as it's concerned in reference to this. Eddie Hearn can't get in the ring and fight for Tiafimo Lopez. His last fight was against Vasily Lomachenko. The Matrix, high tech, and he beat him. What has he done since then? I don't know. Check Twitter. Check his Instagram. Check for articles when he was talking nonsense about people, two people. Devin Haney pulling up on him. Talking negative. Ridiculous. You had more than enough time to get this fight done. Matter of fact, this fight should have been done five times already. 
How many times was this fight rescheduled, Tiafimo? And I'm still not over the COVID thing. You contracted COVID, which postponed the fight. But then somehow ESPN, after Vasily Machenko dominated and destroyed Nakatani, a guy that you had all the problems in the world with, Vasily Lomachenko came back from injury, jumped right back into the flames, dominated Nakatani, stopped him. And during the post fight, I'm listening to ESPN. They say, yeah, you know, Tiafimo's on vacation in Italy. I said, whoa, what's he doing over there? How did he get there? Did he catch COVID over there? No one ever responded or cleared that up. Yo, hey, man, no harm, no foul, right, Tiafimo? And I'm talking to both of them, Lopez, Lopez Sr. and Jr. Nothing? Oh, okay, yeah, no harm, no foul. That's fine. That's fine. But when Eddie Hearn says delusion, only one judge and you and your son, that's three people on planet Earth, say that you won that fight or at least it could have been a draw are you kidding me are you kidding me not at all negative there's no way you won that fight there's no part not when you got dropped in the first round no one saw that coming is cambosis a power puncher no you threw a lazy jab he landed an overhand right, really, really great discipline, rolled with the punch that he expected to come back. But what he didn't expect was him to drop you like that. It happened. Tio, you got dominated all night long. You're supposed to be this rock star. You're broadcasting, you barely made $600,000. I think I heard, I remember $600,000 you said, you said that last fight. I was like, huh? That's not rock star status. You see those lights in the back? That's the theater in Madison Square Garden. The theater. That's not the real garden. The big house. You did fight under the big lights at MSG, but it was on the undercard of Bud Crawford and Mayor King Kong. If I'm not mistaken. Look it up, though. You fought there, but you wasn't the main event, my man. Okay? You got dominated, my man. It happens. Deal with it. How you don't deal with it is doing what you're doing. I heard you did the, the backflip in the ring. No cameras was rolling. The DJ was packing up. People looking over their shoulders. What's he doing? Delusion, man. Eddie Hearn can't fight. Eddie Hearn wasn't in there fighting George Cambosis. He didn't get knocked down in the first round. He wasn't playing catch up. Now, you had your chance in round 10 when you knocked him down. But for some reason, you couldn't close the show. And in round 11, it was business as usual. There was no part of that fight where you dominated. You won at least two rounds. At least two. That's it. Get back in the saddle. Do it again. And why is Teal Senior calling up Eddie Hearn talking about, hey, man, I don't like what you did. Do, do you remember telling him that you would have fought? I don't know what's going on in this picture. It doesn't make sense to me. That's crazy. <laughs> um, you remember asking him for $10 million? And I want to refer to the article again. You asked him for $10 million to fight Devin Haney. What? You telling him you were undisputed. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be undisputed, but you're not. Also, Eddie Hearn, and salute to my brother, Blue Blood Sports TV, because he spoke to him up front. He said, man, in order for you to be recognized as undisputed, the other sanctioning bodies has to recognize um, th th that sanctioning body strap. They don't recognize the franchise status. I don't care what Mauricio Suleiman says. That's why in the article, they emphasize right here. It says WBC... The IBF, you scroll up, make sure I'm, I'm going to read it correctly. W, the WBA, the WBC franchise, IBF, WBO titles. They put emphasis on franchise. 
The link will be in the description, ladies and gentlemen. They put emphasis on the franchise status. Now, why would they do that? What does Devin Haney have? Yeah, 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 yeah. He got it on the email. So what? How did he get it in the email? Guess what? He didn't ask for it to avoid somebody. He didn't say, Mauricio, I'm clean cut. I don't have a criminal record. I'm not on drugs. Can I get a franchise status? No. Talk about how he got it in the email. Talk about how Vasil Lomachenko was supposed to fight him. And rather than fight him, he vacated it, gave it to Devin and requested a franchise status. And that's how Tiafimo got it, because he beat Vasil Lomachenko for it. Tell the truth, ladies and gentlemen, tell the truth. Tiafimo Lopez was never undisputed. There was a dispute, because Devin Haney had the WBC title. And Tiafimo was not, De Devin Haney was not on the menu for him. He was not on the menu. So stop it. Cut it out. And before these cats start this nonsense, George Cambosis is not undisputed. Cut it out. Cut it out. Blaming Eddie Hearn, of all people. There's enough crap with Eddie Hearn, but you know what? This ain't his fault. Eddie didn't do this. Tiafimo did this. He didn't do what he was supposed to do. He had so much time to take care of business. You ain't fought in God knows how long. I heard you had problems making weight. Now I'm hearing you having problems at home. Blah, blah, blah. No one can fight this fight for you. Eddie Hearn ain't your wife. You ain't got beef with him like that. Tio Jr., Tio Sr., get your son under control. You get under control. How can you get your son under control when you out here wilding out too? Running up in the Cambosis uh, uh, workout, trying to fight his father. Very unprofessional. Look, I'm not an Eddie Hearn guy, but he didn't do this. This is y'all fault. Take it, own it, deal with it, come back. No one cares about what you're going through with your lady, if that's even true. No one cares about no referees or corrupt judges. Obviously, no one cares. And y'all know where my stance is with that. So since it's a free fall, take accountability. Canelo Alvarez, I understand that his brother was kidnapped. And that was right before a fight of his. And he took care of business. Floyd Mayweather was dealing with a, a, a trashy chick that aborted his children. He done put money, invested money in this chick. She lying on him. And he had to go in there and fight hard-hitting ass man, my Donna. Come on now. He had to go in there and fight Miguel Cotto. And after he won that, he had to go serve a prison sentence. So come on, T.O. Ain't nobody going to feel sorry for you. Stop. Stop making excuses, Tiafimo. I thought you was better than that. I supported you. You ran off at the mouth. You did a little too much. The icing on the cake is F. Devin Haney and his fans. Guess what? You never planned on fighting Devin Haney. He's getting all the shine that you felt you should have had. His bank account reflects it, and the shine he's getting reflects it. Good luck to him. He has a hard task ahead of him this weekend. Hopefully he gets past that, and you have to reevaluate your entire life, and I'll reiterate this again. If you're not going to fight Vasil Lomachenko coming in to, to get your get back, go ahead and fight Ryan Garcia. That's a fight I think you could win. But do something. Stop pointing the finger. Because when you're pointing the finger, there's three fingers back on that same hand pointing back at you. Get it together, young man. And as far as your father's concerned, you should have been had it together. Be a better example. Ridiculous. Bronx on deck. Move!